Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to my headphones find a way to get stuck on something no matter what position I have them in. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's 100% Fallout 3. Hello, hello, hello. If you're enjoying the series, leaving comments, leaving likes, subscribing, the bell turned on, all helps out the series to grow. Uh, we are exploring the underworld, the epic random underworld of doom. Uh, this is, I think it's safe to say, I think we've been told this already, but this is a safe space for the ghouls in the game, which is really cool. I wish, uh, in Fallout 5, I don't know why this is still not a thing, I guess because it would rupture the story structure. In unintentional rhyme there that I feel proud about. But I, uh, really hope that they allow you to be a different race in Fallout 5. Uh, that is what I think is missing. Uh, for me personally. Um, not that the other games need that, just that that would be awesome. To be able to play as a super mutant, which would obviously have to come with some setbacks, considering you probably have a lot of, you know, oh yeah, look at look how cool that is. Probably have a lot of strength and stuff, um, you know, rad resistance and whatever. Door to Museum of History, lower halls? I wonder what, the, I wonder what's over there, because this is where the town is. What is that? 2066 to 2077, Alaskan liberation from the Red Chinese. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, you know, you can play as a ghoul, you can play as a super mutant, you can play as a robot, maybe? Uh, I feel like they could make that work, and that would be really cool, uh, and the first time that you could do that. Uh, let's go explore what this is. I genuinely don't know where this... Jeez, that scared the crap out of me. Uh, why do I have my fists out? Man, this playthrough is so bizarre with the weapons and everything. Let's see, weapons, what do we have? Combat shotgun with a decent amount of shots. Let's go with that. Uh, anyways, yeah, so the ghouls have a safe haven in uh, the underwear, in the, in the museum of, what is this place called? I don't know anything about Washington, by the way, so like I said, I'm gonna sound really dumb. The uh, the museum of history. So yeah, the, the ghouls have a little safe haven there. What is this? It, says, it looks like it's like a yeah, you could almost read that. I wonder if it says Lorem Ipsum or whatever. Anyways, I don't know what this is. Uh, I wanted to explore the ghoul's uh, place of... Eh! Man, you guys really don't do much, honestly. I got... Oh my god, will you die, please. For the love of god. Oh my god, will you die, please. For the love of god. Thank you. Hello. Nice to see you. Goodbye. A critical strike, I'd say so. Bam! Man, I am not accurate in the slightest. Oh my god, that's scary. Okay. Ba ah, stop being so jittery, man. You're very hard to hit. Okay, hold on, gentlemen. Hold on. Oh my lord. Alright, that's it for the shotgun. What else do we have? Items, weapons, we've got a frag grenade, which might come in handy here. Let's be smart about it. Okay, do you want of these? Yep! Could have closed the door as well. Do one of these. Yeah. Nice. Are we good? Still see a whole lot of enemies. Holy crap. Okay. Uh, we need something a little more reliable, I think. Missile launcher, vampire's edge, Wan long assault rifle. Yeah, that's going to do it. Forgot that we had this. This thing is amazing, even without any small guns. Okay, we'll take that. Thank you. What else do we have? We'll take that. Thank you. What else do we have? No, thank you. What else do we have? Thank you. Uh, let's see. I can see something there. It's just a bit of ghoul. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever uh, been in... Jeez, Louise. Okay, that was scary. Um, let's go ahead and hack this. We're very close to death here, obviously. How about capturing? Zero out of nine. So we know for a fact it has nothing with the... What is it? Suffix of ing, right? I-N-G. Generally, uh, capturing. Could definitely be this. Aha! Uh -huh. Love when that happens. Love when it's that smooth. Okay, what do we got? Uh, reconfigure targeting, targeting parameters, deactivate turret system, system information. Okay, nothing there. Secure exhibit? Please stand back. Open exhibit door? Please stand back. I have no idea what that means. Uh, we'll deactivate the turret system, though. Open exhibit door. Please stand back. Oh, that right there. Okay. Se do I press secure now or open? Cool. It was already open, though, so that's kind of bizarre, huh? Uh, okay, so that deactivated all the turrets, thankfully, which means all of our red blips on our compass is now gone. Uh, I don't know if there's anything. This, this is going to be one of those episodes where I want to see if I missed out in the old days of 
uh, you know, by not exploring. Because same thing with Oblivion. It's just like I'm not really all that spurred to explore a lot of stuff. Uh, in Oblivion and in Fallout 3, just because I feel like a lot of the time you don't get much ever. We'll take those, but we're going to check this now. Hello, purified water and stim pack. Uh, can I drink this from the menu? That would be a nice little quality of life addition. Uh, let's eat the blood pack. Let's drink the purified waters. And let's get out of this. Uh, what else do we have? We have a little safe here. Do we have to lockpick? Let's see. Huh? Yeah. Uh, 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 um. How dare you? How many lockpicks do we have, by the way? 27? Okay. Bobby pins, I should say. Uh, there we are. We got bottle caps and pre-war money. Very nice. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I've ever been down here even once. Because uh, if, you know, if there was no quest taking me here, I don't know why I would have. Okay, let's remember to go check that upper exhibit as well. Whatever the heck that is. I do not know. And meanwhile... We will take a look around here. A psycho, we'll take that. Anything here in the kitchen? We have a first aid box with a Radaway and a stim pack. Not bad. Okay, moving right along. Got a couple of Nuka Colas. One, two, three. And we've got two more there, and I can see. Aha! We've got a Nuka Cola Quantum. Cool, we got Jet, we got Medex, we got Jet, we got some sugar bombs. Forgot about that. Yeah, we need those to make the uh, super meth or whatever the heck it was, which I'm not sure how our character would feel about that. Uh, I got a lot of ghouls here dead to the bear traps, but hey, if they've triggered them, then I don't got to worry about them, so I'm fine with that. Okay, hopefully not, we're not missing any like little keys or anything on the table. Sometimes this game will do that to you. Let's see, nothing back here. Let's go ahead and stow this. Looks like we're done with all the killing for now. Nothing in the cash register. Huh! Got another bathroom over here. If you'd like to give me a first aid box, I'd appreciate it. Kind of not doing too hot in that area, as it were. Nothing. How about you? Come on, first aid box. Give Papa a first aid box. We got a wastelander here with jet and a stim pack. Okay. Take that. What else do we have here? Nothing at all. Okay. All right, let's go upstairs and check out that exhibit, and then we'll finally get into the underworld. Where there is so much stuff going on, if I remember correctly. Alright, what is going on here? So there's just an art exhibit, I guess? But nothing to interact with? This is what I mean, like, I just feel like there's a lot of this sort of stuff in, in Fallout 3 and Oblivion in general. Just like, a whole lot of nothing. Lincoln's Diary! Okay, never mind. Lincoln's Diary. Wait, is this where you're supposed to go for the... Yeah, because we have that quest activated, even though I thought this was in a different zone. Stealing Independence. Retrieve the Declaration of Independence from the National Archives. I think I'm getting this one mixed up with another thing, because there's a whole Lincoln set of items, if I remember correctly. And something that is very, very, very good. But I did not think that, that, that this is where that was. Okay, a lot of displays, but nothing to interact with, with really. Yeah, it looks like that's about it. Okay, where does this door lead? Open door to Museum of History offices? Okay, let's check what that diary is real quick. Is that a note or is it just a book? Items. I'm assuming it's a misc book here. Lincoln's Diary, yes. Weight 1, value 5. But clearly, a unique item. It says Abraham Lincoln on it. Okay, we got some more ghouls in the distance. Got some Abraxo cleaner on the left there. I have no idea if this if this is worth exploring, but we gonna we'll see. We are going to see. I know we want those Lincoln items, though, eventually. So if there's more here, we definitely want to look for those. So we got a stim pack there. Very nice. Some potato crisps and stuff. We'll take all the Nuka Colas as healing, though. In fact, let's go ahead and drink some of those since we're not doing too hot. Nuka Cola. Boop, boop, boop. Where's our rads? Does it not tell me? Boop, boop, boop. Oh, yeah. Notice up here, too. Our caps go up as we drink these. Yeah, just by one. Okay, let's see. Stats. Status. Rad. 27? We don't really have to worry about that until that hits 100. Okay. Uh, very hard lock, which we need 100 lock pick to open. God, this is actually scary a little bit. Ooh, nice. Okay, what do we have here? Bottle caps, thank you. Let's reload. Yeah. Just keep firing. Don't ever stop firing. Okay. Let's go this way. Gotcha. 
Rad X. Uh, let's take a look and see if we see any uh, pre-war books or anything. Sometimes they'll hide, like, skill books around here and stuff. I wouldn't be surprised if we missed one already. Do we got anything at all? Not as far as I can tell. Oh! Take Action Abe action figure. Look at that. Okay, so this must be the Abraham Lincoln thing. Yeah, I, I, I've done this in the past, but just not for a very long time. Um, and I remember there was like a whole bunch of Abraham Lincoln collectible items or something, and there's either a full quest for it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I vaguely remember. Man, it's been forever since I've done a lot of this stuff. This is like the number one, I think, Bethesda game that I just like has been overdue to go back to. Yeah. Uh -huh. Where are you at? Over here? Come on. Come on! You know you want to. Thank you. Baseball and 63 bottle caps. Okay, a whole bunch of machinery. We've got a desk here. Always good to check the desks. Got a carton of cigarettes there. And we've got turret control system with an average lock. Okay, let's see here. We got settling. Four out of eight correct, so it's likely it'll probably have the ING, right? S-E-T-T. L, so it's not that. So let's look for the ing, S-E-T-T. -T. So it could definitely be this one here. Spending. Oh, man, I'm getting good at that, huh? Nice. Okay, what do we got? Open archive. Secure. Okay, open the, yeah, we're looking for the National Archives, right? But we still don't have a, like a, a, a quest marker to anything. Deactivate turret system. Okay, and we've got a 10 millimeter pistol. What did that open? This door over here? Open door very hard. You need a lockpick skill of 100. I'm not sure what these are even opening. I like the, the video game rule of like, if you open some, oh, it opened that, okay. Yeah, if you open something, you know, it's always within view, so you know what it is, but. Maybe I'm just too picky. Actually scary. <laughs> Feral ghouls are actually terrifying sometimes. Okay, before we go into that, obviously, very important archive door. Let's check other things out, make sure we don't miss any. Make sure we don't miss any uh, other Abraham Lincoln items. Medex there. Okay, not seeing anything there, but obviously there's a... Sometimes you can use these to get to the upper floors, but I guess not in this case. Okay, where the heck do we come from? This place is massive. That goes downstairs? So we came from downstairs, right? Yeah, okay. And then that door's still locked, but that's fine. He's like, God! See what I mean? Like, that's so terrifying, genuinely. Okay, bottle caps. We'll save all this for last. Just looking for anything that looks... Jesus! Actually scary. <laughs> Look for anything that vaguely looks like... It is Abraham Lincoln related. Got another desk here with a knife on it that I can't seem to, you know, just a combat knife. Okay, what do we have over here? Nothing. Got some metal boxes. Okay. And then this goes into the archives, I'm assuming. Blue pass card. And another carton of cigarettes. A lot of carton of cigarettes that we can sell. Oh, we didn't go into this bathroom yet. We've been let down by a lot of the bathrooms in the past, but I have to check just in case they put some funny little story thing or something. You are no longer well rested. So says you. I feel incredibly well rested. Not really. In real life at all right now. <laughs> okay. Nothing. All right. And then I feel like there was one more. Okay, we can go upstairs there perhaps. And then this goes downwards where we came from, right? Okay. Moving right along. No enemies on our map. Didn't check back here. Got a skeleton there that we can't loot. We got 10 millimeter rounds. Empty desk. Empty filing cabinets. Okay, what do we have back here? There's got to be something important. They wouldn't have me go through the trouble of opening this, you know, having this be behind a lock gate and then having to hack into a, a terminal if there was nothing back here. So let's make sure we very carefully scan the, uh, the bookshelves here. Surprised there's no, like, pre-war books or skill books or anything so far. Empty desk, metal box with six bottle caps. Empty desk as well. Give me something, man. Jeez Louise. Feral Ghoul Roamer with two bottle caps. Okay, we can go upstairs there. That might be where our quarry is. Seven bottle caps, nothing there. You've got to put at least one book. You must put at least one helpful book. 
a skill book or a uh, or a uh, pre-war book that I can go. Sell. Nothing really. Not surprising to me. Okay, then back here in this corner is just uh, where we already were, right? Yeah. So let's go upstairs. Let's see what we have here. I've got another enemy on my radar. Okay. Oh, and it's a. Oh, we haven't seen this yet. God, scary! Huh. Huh. Oh my god. Please die. For the love of God. So many ghouls. Woo! Yeah, actually scary when you don't have, like, sufficient... Sm and imagine how easy... Imagine how easy this would be if I just had small guns. Like, not just taking small guns is, is basically just a huge handicap that the only reason not to is if you just obviously want to have a different build. All that glowing one had was two bottle caps. Disappointing. That's a glowing one. Um, they will deal, I think, radiation damage to you if they hit you. Uh, they look very cool in Fallout 4. Uh, a lot of the enemy designs in Fallout 4 are fantastic. Anyways, that was scary. Forgot that they were even in this game, to be honest with you. Okay, metal box with four bottle caps. What is that? So, yeah, all these books, I'm not really checking too much because they're all just going to be... All just going to be large or small burned books, which don't we don't really care about that. Uh, something up there that it looks like we can't get to. So, anyways, um, yeah, I mean, obviously, like, as you can tell, small guns is super duper duper helpful. It's all you find anywhere, and we're able to play the game on normal difficulty without having any small guns just because they're so powerful. And they're your bread and butter. So if anybody is watching this playthrough and wants to play this game for themselves and thinks maybe some things might be a little too hard or something, if you go with small guns, this game is massively easy, which is why I'm trying to switch it up with like a big heavy weapons playthrough. But obviously, as you can tell, very difficult finding heavy weapons in the first place and then keeping up the ammo once you do. Okay, here's the room that was going back down, so we can use that as a shortcut. There's got to be something in here of value, right? Okay, let's circumvent this massive central room first and foremost. Is there something hiding back there, I wonder? Huh! Huh! Can't see anything. Okay, the rooms just keep coming and they just keep coming and they just keep coming and they just keep coming. And yet there is nothing of interest to find. Antique Link... Antique... Ugh, antique Lincoln Coin Collection. Okay, cool. Alright, that's why we're checking everything, folks. Neat. Okay, and then we went back there. We did all that. Let's stow this away. So, what do we have in the main big room here? I'm assuming the big something of value. Something that's not just some random Lincoln item. Right? Got it in here. Blood pack and a stim pack. Take all. What do we got over here? Metal box with nothing. Desk with one solitary bottle cap. Got a feral ghoul roamer with a carton of cigarettes thank you got a desk with earnings clipboard and one solitary nuka cola okay here we've got a chinese army spec ops training manual and to the left is the thing that i was hoping would be here i couldn't remember and and imagine <laughs> imagine right now if i completely missed that every, how much people would be yelling at me in the comment section uh boom boom raider pain spike armor I really wish I kept up my classic joke where I was like, you know, I'm like, okay, guys, that's it. Let's get out of here. But of course, no. Uh, and also, let's go ahead and read these skill books as soon as I get them. Click. Sneak increase by two since we have the comprehension perk. And here, the big boy. Yeah, so I knew this was a thing in this game, and I think it's one of the best weapons in the game, if I remember correctly. But I completely forgot about the Lincoln stuff. So this should be, indeed, Lincoln's Repeater. So this is a unique hunting rifle, I believe. Which is great also, because we have a ton of... Oh yeah, and it gets a little unique... Um... Wait, do they all do that? Like, does this look different from the normal assault rifle? Uh, so yeah, Lincoln Repeater. I think, if I remember correctly... Oh, it uses 44 rounds. The heck? I think this is a unique hunting rifle that instead of using 30 whatever, it uses 44 rounds. 
And if I remember right, it's just it's really good, but I don't know why. I think maybe just because it has incredibly high damage or something. Let's put that on... What is on one? Combat shotgun. Okay, we'll put that on one. And then we'll equip it. And, yeah. Now, I'm going to check and see if we got all the Lincoln items. I did not even realize that that's what this place was for. Uh, I thought that was a completely different zone. So let me check and make sure that I've gotten everything, and I will see you all in just a second. Okay, so here we have Lincoln's voice. Okay, and we missed two weird things. I don't know why, because I was, like, looking for every single thing, you know, so intently, but obviously they blend in. So back in the library here, right here is the Civil War draft poster, and then over here in the corner is also the... John Wilkes Booth Wanted posters. There's tons of stuff, and I still think we're missing a couple more things as well. And finally, we missed this freaking top hat, Lincoln's hat, right there. Like, it's it just that room with the hole in the ceiling. Uh, we also missed two skill books. So yeah, we missed a whole, whole, whole bunch of stuff. I think the other two skill books are back here, but even if we miss them going backwards, I'm not going to worry about it too much. I uh, only care about the truly unique items, uh, because I think how it is, like, we'll be able to max them anyways, you know, max the skills out. But, uh, yeah, we'll check for them. I think they were both near here. One is in the kitchen, which was down here, right? In the middle? Uh, so where, yeah, there was a book here that we ended up missing. Uh, I'm not too sure. I should have honestly checked for the location before, because I, I don't remember exactly where in the kitchen... Uh, and then the other one is... We might be able to find that one, actually. I think, like, right... This goes back to the lobby, right? Door to the museum. Yeah, the entrance. Okay, I think this one is in a bathroom. Were there two bathrooms or just the one? Yeah, I think this one's back here. Uh, we saw... Where do we just see those bathrooms? Here. I think it's in the woman's stall. So it's like, I think, near a trash can or something. In fact, uh, let me just find these because I'm not ex entirely sure where they are. Okay, I am not sure what they mean. They're saying that there is a, I think, a Nikola, Tesla, and you or some other skill book in the women's restroom in the last stall on the left. So here's the women's restroom, right? We go in. Last stall on the left would be right here and unless my brain is just not seeing it uh i see no skill book anywhere right unless it like fell through the floor uh activate toilets nothing in the the bait the thing at the top yeah i am not seeing any sort of skill book so i think we'll just call that one done i checked the men's restroom as well and i did not see it so i am not sure what they're referring to but over here there is a DC Journal of Internal Medicine just randomly on some random shelves. We're going to go ahead and read that and get medicine up by two. Is there just like another bathroom that I missed? But why would they have two sets of bathrooms? It says just inside. Maybe it's upstairs? Is there any bathroom that we can see? I feel like there were a lot of bathrooms, right? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, the only thing I could think of is if it fell through the floor or something, because I am not seeing that specific book. So, we're going to leave. Unless it means in here. Does it mean in just the lobby itself? That would be kind of weird as well. But Yeah, oh, maybe it's this. Okay, if we go to the ladies' room, last stall on the left. Oh, it is this. Nikola, Tesla, and you. I just thought for whatever reason that... Um, it was referring to that one section alone. Okay, well that was very helpful because we will need to do all of that for a certain quest. So that was super duper good that we just randomly popped into there. But now we've got the underworld. Door to the underworld. Oh, well, would you look at that? We got us a smooth skin visitor. Ooh, we, we ain't seen one of your type in a long time. Hello there. Uh, smooth skin, what does that mean? Smooth skin? You know, because your skin is so smooth and tasty. Relax, I'm just kidding. But I had you going, didn't I? Eh, not really. I think I've met more ghouls, and they mostly seem to be nice. Except for the 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 the, 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 the feral ones. Where am I? You're in Underworld, Smooth Skin. It's the only safe place for we ghouls in D.C. We're here out of sight and out of mind. The mutants leave us alone, and the slavers usually don't come this far into the city, so it's not bad. Really, the Brotherhood of Steel is the only thing we have to worry about. So long as we don't leave Underworld, that is. 
The Brotherhood of Steel will just open fire on ghouls? Like, I feel like that's not too explored unless it's just in this game. That's awful. The Brotherhood of Steel, what's your beef with them? Bastards. They don't seem to be able to tell us apart from the super mutants. Or maybe they just don't care. They see us and shoot on sight. At least they have the common courtesy to miss most of the time. Still, bigots. True. You don't deserve that. A city full of ghouls, huh? That's right. As long as you don't bother us, we won't bother you. Feel free to come and go, trade, sleep, whatever. Just make sure that you leave whatever trouble is following you at the door. Because we don't want it. So enjoy your stay, smooth skin. Thank you very much, I will. I'm gonna go have a look around. Enjoy your stay. Just try and keep from shooting up the place. We got a nice little deal going on down here. We'd like to keep it nice. Luckily for you, Winthrop, I am not playing a pure evil playthrough, so we will be nice. Speech 100%. You know anything about the mind wipe on that escaped android? I used to think it was all so much bullshit. But then I got this holotape. Here, listen to it yourself. Note added, oh man, a circuit ne neuralizer. What the heck? What do you do around here, Winthrop? Me? I keep every hunk of old rusted pre-war garbage around here in operating condition. We've got lights, water, and ventilation all running off the old crap they used to keep this place going for the tourists. I've managed to keep it going so far, but, well, I'm not sure how long I can keep it up. Why? What's wrong? We've scavenged just about all the scrap metal from all the places we can safely get to. We're scraping the bottom of the barrel here. Hell, not before long I'm gonna have to disassemble poor old Cerberus for parts. Hey, you get around, don't you? Tell you what, you bring me back any scrap metal you find out there, and I'll trade you whatever I can. We can work out a trade. We've got some stuff around here that we don't need, but a smooth skin like you might make use of it. I remember you can trade this guy's scrap metal, yeah. What sort of payment are we talking about? Well, we got stim packs, but the doc keeps us healed up so we don't really need them. So I could trade one of those for five bits of scrap metal. Jeez. We also got us a ton of Radaway and Radex. I mean, what good is it to us? But I'll trade you either one for five bits of scrap. Your choice. Okay. That is interesting. I think that's, what, five pounds for one stim pack that we'll just have to lug around. Uh, sure, Winthrop. I think I can help you out. Well, all right. That's good to hear, stranger. Just come on back to me when you've gathered some scrap metal. You'll find it just about anywhere. On junked robots, in old buildings, you name it. Will do, my friend. I have some scrap metal for you. And not a moment too soon. Although I'm pretty sure I don't have five. What was our deal again? For every five... Uh, okay. Can you repair my things? Can you pay me? Then I can repair your stuff. Let's see here. Repair all those 1,500 caps. Not worth it. Do we have anything that's super cheap to repair, though? We can repair that. We can repair that. We can repair nothing else. Done. Let's see. What can you tell me about Underworld? We were driven underground um, almost 50 years ago now. Between the super mutants, the beasts, and you crazy humans, it's not safe up there. So we stay down here, out of sight and out of trouble. We get a few smooth skins every so often, but most of us don't trust them. You're not going to give us more reasons not to be trusting, are you? No, not at all. I'm a good boy. Uh, I have to go now. Let me know if you have any of that scrap metal to sell. Will do, buddy. Will do. Okay, let's listen to that thing that he gave us as for the, for the Android quest. Oh man, a circuit neuralizer. Remember that secret Android project I told you about? Well, they got some serious pre-war tech on their hands. They nabbed a lipoplasticator and a microdermal graftalizer for the facial reconstruction. Not sure where they'll find a chopper with enough skills to use it without making him look like a freaking ghoul. Oh, and get this. Can you believe they found a circuit neuralizer? That or someone built one. Word is that they're going to completely rewire the brain of one of those things. If you know who they got working on this, let me know. I want to meet the guy. Okay. Interesting. No quest updates, though, however. And that'll be where we end this one. Uh, a lot of exploration, but like I said, that is for a quest, so we kind of needed to do that at some point. But yeah, the Underworld is going to be fun, because it's been quite a long time since I've explored this place, played this game, obviously, the first place, but it'll be fun to re-experience this uh, for almost for the first time again. At least that's how it feels. But thanks so much for watching. If you're enjoying this series, remember leaving comments, leaving likes, subscribe to the bell turned on. all helps out the series to grow. <gasps> 
And massive thank you to my patrons whose names you're about to see uh, coming up right here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.